Runs away, gives it off to Rourke Smith. Sends it long, chance for Shaki again, kick the last for the Dogs. It'll give in the end, Laddams happy to go short. McKenzie off a shin or two. Liberatore, how quick and slick was that to Trelaw, who breaks the arc. Means business, kicks, goals, quick response. Another goal back to back. Really good effort from the, the contest here. This is one thing the dogs have done really well all day when they've kicked the ball long and then got that space over the back, and it's really confused the Ports defenders. They don't know whether to come forward to put the pressure on Trelaw, stay back on their direct opponents. Their midfield run has just been exceptional. Well, the footy well came after Adam Trelaw this week, Richo. He's missed 12 weeks with a syndesmosis injury. He was a bit quiet last week, but it's a tough game, this one. Yeah, plenty of critics out there, but he's played a really Solid game tonight. Rourke Smith kicks it high towards half forward. Jackie, no mark. Oh, Alir Alir nearly threw that, but he got it to a teammate who got it off to McKenzie. It was up into the tackle. Dogs win it back. Libra try. That's great vision. Popped it in short. Trelaw can run inside 50. Settle and put it through. Another goal to the Bulldogs. Trelaw joins the goal kicking list. Kicks his first. And I reckon Gillian might be right. I think it might be over. 14 10 94. Handballs to his man inside. That was Rourke Smith. He goes to half forward. Up went Shaky. Got some confidence. Got out the back to Aaliyah though. Aaliyah handballs out the back to Burton. Burton's hand pass is chopped off. Dogs have done well. Liver, brilliant vision. Spotted his man, Chalor. He marks. He runs to 30. And Chalor dribbles home the goal. Dogs are on fire at the Adelaide Oval. Kenny Hinckley can only look on. And his team are being pummeled. 14-10 playing 5-8. Doggies. Got it. Drove it towards half forward. Up they fly. Shaki got up a long way. Alir. Nice work. Got it down. Good tackle. Good pressure. Now Liberatore. Oh, he's got a loose player. It's Trelaw. He's got to march inside 50. He'll Give slot it. this. He'll slot it. He's a wonderful player and he does. He's got his first. They've got their 14th. Now the lady is starting to warm up those vocal cords. Oh, don't worry. She's on the list of rank. 14, 10, 94. Port Adelaide, 5, 8, 38. So just hold a lead and start to think about AFL Grand Final. That's Port Adelaide. Muck sure. around with it. They get Look tossed off of the ball. Liberatore That's squeezes a kick. a kick out magnificently to Trelaw. The B misses this. He should have passed it over the top, but he hasn't anyway. He just nailed the goal. And just uh, embarrassed Port Adelaide with the skill level of Liberatore. Cut him like a knife. Yeah. The way Vandermeer moved it on, then a thumping kick from Rourke Smith to left half forward off hands oh. at the back. Alir worked it down. Clever hand pass then from Laddams, but they've turned it over again Great here, Port. That's lovely from Liberatore. He spots Trelaw, who waltzes into space, and he kicks the goal. They've seen more of the nation than the Leyland brothers in the last couple of weeks, the Western Bulldogs, but it's done them no harm at all. Zed Lending lines for the self-employed as Rourke Smith for the Dogs works it up the half forward. Alir almost threw it out of that contest. Here's McKenzie. Look at the pressure. Vandermeer putting on some real heat. Oh, delicate by Liberatore. Trelaw can stroll in and nail it home. The Dogs are out by 56 points. The big off-season recruit puts one through the middle. And the Dogs, 13-10. They moved to 94, 14, 10, 94. They know they're playing for their spots, some of these guys, for two weeks' time. And just the effort and intensity, tackle pressure again. A lot of Bulldogs players ran to Vandermeer after that big tackle because he was the source of that goal. And, geez, Trelaw, could have kicked the goal. He could have given it over the top. He could have taken another bounce. Just too much time and space inside 50. Half for Shaggy floats in. I think Bont's playing forward at the moment, just being half rested forward in fact it's Stefan Martin who's been rested forward handballed it quick fire style to Liberatore he goes for law he's had a good night at the office for law and he adds a goal to it back in form and this could be a mirror of last night's scoreline 14 goals to five as it stands right now Jeff Hannon ball at half forward Shaggy at the back flies Alir at the back just somehow eased it, I would have thought, to Laddams. 
good tackle. The Dogs have been able to turn it back over through traffic. The kick is excellent. Finds it to Trelaw. Runs in from 35. Should jail it, and he does. Goal to Trelaw. 14 10 94 the Western Bulldogs, minute 47 of three quarter time. Start Double talking listeners. about next week's game, though. That's all we need to do. There's always something to see what's going to happen with the matchup between Melbourne and the Bulldogs because at the moment, Port are just uh, not looking anywhere near kicking the 10 goals. They're going to need to win this game from now on. And Lee, it, the little things, that was a great tackle by Vandermeer to force the turnover. It's around Byrne Jones, kicks for half forward. shacky has got an appetite for it. He flew a lead, dead set through that. I'm not sure how he possibly could have missed it. Uh, Port do manage to cough it up though. Liberatore forward to Trelaw. He'll take the responsibility himself and drill the goal. The dogs are not to be challenged. Adam Trelaw sees to that. Back-to-back goals late in the third term. And the margin is restored at 56 points. 14-10 to 5-8 AFL Nation for Athena Home Loans. <sighs> flattening. Really, really <laughs> flattening, isn't it? I mean, just yeah, an easy yeah. goal out the back. What, what, he's just standing on there on his own, is he, Adam Chalor? I'm, I'm just bob up in the forward 50 in a prelim final with no pressure, run, bounce. Do I pass it off? Do I have a shot for goal? How is he standing there on his own? Like, expl- explain that to me. I don't know. I know it's easy up here from the commentary box, but it hasn't just been a one-off occasion tonight where really good players are standing in dangerous spots with not one Port Adelaide player putting any sort of pressure on them. So that's an absolute dagger. And what a story, Adam Trelaw. Yeah. I mean, that's going to be a story in the next couple of weeks. There's going to be plenty of time to look back <laughs> and is. find out how these players found their way into a grand final. He's one of them. AFL Nation goggle box with Kane Collins <laughs> watching his team go down. <laughs>